My earliest memories of sewing are of my mom and the party dresses that she would make me. She'd take me to the fabric store and let me pick out the patterns, the patterns of the fabric and the patterns for the dress. And then she would make such marvelous things with her hands and with her machine. Clothes are the skin that we show to the world. They should be a reflection of the person wearing them, not some logo across the chest. I will wear no one's name but my own across my breast, and I would hope that everyone feels the same. Wear your own motto. I sewed all day, all I got was unstitched. Why do we fear what we do not think we know? Why do we love whatever we don't have? Always with the intent of something grand. Every night before I go to sleep. She knows her sweet salvage heart with all it seems, each of such exquisite precision. She knows her applique beat irreverently, playing the part of percussion. She knows she will lay her secluded mind to sleep, and there will come a moment where she will not awaken. I got my first sewing machine as my graduation present when I was 18, and immediately I moved to Los Angeles to go to fashion design school. This simple machine allowed me so much freedom, the ability to change anything that I wanted to wear into something else to fit my personality, a piece of armor to show to the world that reflected exactly how I was feeling at that moment that I would wear it. This doorway into the world of sewing led me into a land of possibilities and infinite, infinite creations. I was never satisfied to make the same thing twice. Even when I attempted to recreate a dress, it never turned out the same. It always became its own new shiny entity. A glowing work of art that stood alone by itself. Sometimes the dresses worked out right away, and sometimes they needed to be restitched a hundred times. Sometimes I would cut something out freeform, not knowing which direction it was going to go, and it would turn into the most marvelous surprise, a party dress for the perfect occasion.
through experimentation and through process, through trial and error and trying again and again, sewing something and putting it on, and sewing it again and trying it on again. This was the way that I learned to sew.